Hi everybody, this is Julie with ReadySitStamp.com and today I'm going to show you two different types of Get Well Soon boxes. So here's what I've got. The first one is this little gable box I got probably close to five years ago off of eBay. And it's just, I looked up Get Well Soon Gable Box, and it's pretty big actually, so you can put a lot of stuff in it. So I'm just going to add some tissue here at the bottom, and then we'll start filling it with some goodies. So I'll get started with that. Okay, so what I put in here is some extra tissue that I had. So just some orange and yellow tissue, it's really not important on the color. And then what I'm going to do is just add in a pack of these little Kleenex into there. I'm going to add a pack of these little hauls and then I'm going to add some of these little teas and then last but not least I'm going to add a thing of cup of noodles. So it's just put that all into this little box and then I'm going to fold my box together here. And now I'm going to start doing a little tag for it. So the tag that I did here was off of the Silhouette store and it says, Heard You Caught a Bug. And this is from the Scrappy Mom's stamp set. And then I cut out this little caterpillar, which is kind of like a little bug, and I added it. And I just printed it off on some fun little paper. So you could do polka dots or any kind of paper that you want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere it with my Zig 2A glue pen. So I'll just add some down into here and adhere this onto my card, or not my card, but my tag. I'm going to try to put this about like that. And now I'm going to wipe off any excess that I had in the back here. Perfect. So now we need to adhere it onto our little box. So I'm going to use one of the, this little um, We Are Memory Keepers hole punch. So I'm just going to punch it, even though it's going right through the little caterpillar. I'm okay with that. So now I'm going to add a little bit of foam. I don't like this handle here, how it's sticking out. So I'm going to add, not a little bit of foam, but I'm going to add a little bit of tool. So I have green tool, orange tool, I've got tool, I've got a bunch of different colors of tool, but I think I'm going to use this orange just to add some more color into this. So we'll do it like that, and then another little piece here. So let's see, make it look like a little bow. This is how I do my bows. Just kind of back and forth like that. And then I snip that off there. So we'll bring this back, put this tool through here, tie a knot, add in my tool that I've wrapped back and forth, and then I'm going to tie a little knot here. And that makes it look like you've got a little bow, really quick and easy. Pull that down to the center and you can just kind of fluff up your bow a little bit here. I'm just going to fluff this up just a little bit. And now I've got my little coilless pen that I'm just going to put through here. And then add my little tag. So this is a really quick and easy project. Mainly because the gable box is so colorful itself that really it just takes no effort at all to just cut a little tag and add it. So there's that. Let's move on to the second project now that I'm going to show you to do a little treat bag rather than a treat box. Okay, and for the next treat bag, I've just got a little bag that I got from Clear Bags. And I've got a little thing of Kleenex and a little tea. And now I'm going to grab a little band-aid. So this is how I do this so it doesn't slip around and it keeps looking nice in the package. I'm just going to add a little bit of tape with my ATG gun there. And then I'm going to add the band-aid with a little touch of tape on that as well, kind of to fix the boo-boos. So we'll do that. 
So now I'm going to slide this into the package here. Slide it all in there, and that way it just stays looking nice inside there. I'm going to add some cough drops here. You can do whatever you want. If you want to add some little mittens in there to keep warm or anything, I think it would be fun. So I'm just going to seal this up right here. Set this off to the side for the time being. And now what I'm going to do is start working on the cute little embellishments. So the first one we're going to do here is this cute little pill jar. And I found this from Lori Whitlock on the Silhouette Store. So I'm just going to get my tape and add it to the back of this. There we go. We'll just put that right in the center of this one here. And then a little bit of tape up here to adhere this tiny little piece right here. And now I do need to add my Zig 2A glue on the back of this one because this is a much smaller piece. I'm just going to use my fine tip here and just go around the RX. And that looks really cute. And now we'll move on to the little Kleenex box. Set that off to the side. And for the Kleenex box, it looks like this. I don't like the way this cut out on my silhouette, so I am just going to trim that up to make it look a little bit better. I'm going to add some tape to the back of this one here. Add that down the side here. Looks good. And then I'm going to add this little square piece onto here. idea that I saw somewhere, and I can't remember if it was on the silhouette or where exactly that I saw it, where you can add a little bit of tissue popping through this. So I think I'm going to try that and see what that looks like. I think I'm just going to take a small little piece of this, maybe like this, trim that off, and then we'll kind of poke it through the top here to make it look like real tissue is coming out of the top of that. Isn't that too cute? Okay, and then I'll just tape this back down here. Maybe I'll add some. Maybe I'll add some tape right here. Gonna get that to stay down. That works. Perfect. How cute is that? Okay, so there's my two little things that I'm gonna put onto my. I'll call it a, a bag topper. I was gonna call it a card topper, but that works too. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab some cardstock and we'll finish this up. Okay, so this is just a basic A2 size card, and I did it in green because inside here there's green, so I'm just going to add back in that color. And I've just cut a piece of cardstock that will go on the top of this with the same color as the green that's on this card and the same green that's in the color of the tissues. So now I'm going to kind of arrange these and figure out how do I want to do this exactly because I do have a sentiment that I also need to add. So I think I kind of like it like that, and then maybe the sentiment here. i got to play around with it and see exactly how do I like it. Okay, so I stamped the same sentiment, heard you caught a bug, and then I'm just going to kind of lay these out. And then I did. Th I th thought it just needed a little something, so I played around with maybe a ribbon or something like that, a bow. So what I've decided to do is just add a little trim to it. So I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. I'm going to get some mounting foam for these just to add some dimension to this. I think it'd be kind of fun. So let's see here. You know what? I think I need this a little bit bigger. I think it needs to go across the entire length of this tissue just to kind of help keep this tissue down. So I'm going to do that noticed this little corner sticking out here so I'm gonna trim that up there we go okay so let's see here I like that really cute we'll add this one a little bit lower cute and now I'm just gonna add some of this um, 
Arlene's No Sew. This is for fabric glue, but I can tell this is, I haven't used it in a while, so I'm just going to do a little bead across here, and then we will add this ribbon right along the edge, which I think is just kind of fun, just to add, it just needs a little something. So I'm just going to add that right there. Too cute. And this one just wants to keep popping up, so I think I'll add a little bit more glue here just to really make sure that wants to stay down. There we go. I like the way that looks. Really cute. Okay, so now let's finish up on my card here. Even though that's a little wet, I'll just be a little more gentle with that. So generally, I can do that on this one here. So I'll just add a little bit of ATG tape on the inside of this. And since the other side's kind of wet, I'm just going to add it directly to this piece of plastic here. So I've got one on the back and then one on the front. So I'm just going to add that right here and then press down with this. So that is my cute little treat bag to give to people that um, I noticed are sick, have a cough or cold. Hope you guys enjoyed this and have a wonderful day everybody. Take care. Bye bye.